Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Today, we're going to be doing a throwdown between the four big name frozen Swedish meatball dinners. But before I get started, let me know in the comments which meal you think is the least expensive and the one that you think is the most expensive. Now let's have a quick drum roll for the least inexpensive frozen Swedish meatball meal. That's right, it's Boston Market's 13.1 ounce Swedish meatballs, which cost $3.59, which is Swedish meatballs in a rich sour cream and herb sauce served over a freshly made pasta. Here's the list of ingredients, and of course, the meatballs are four meat slurry concoction made out of beef, pork, and TVP. What would a highly processed frozen dinner be without TVP? The serving size is the whole container, which has 570 calories, 26 grams of total fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, no polyunsaturated fat, no trans fat, no monounsaturated fat, 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,210 milligrams of sodium, 55 grams of carbohydrates, four grams of fiber, eight grams of sugars, and 27 grams of protein. Here's our Boston Market frozen Swedish meatball dinner right out of the freezer and right out of the box. Now without piercing or removing the cover, it goes into the microwave according to the instructions on the box. Now here's our Boston Market frozen Swedish meatball dinner after microwaving on high for a total of six minutes, stirring at the halfway point. So we give it one more mix, and as you can tell, the noodles look pretty mushy and overcooked. And then we tried the noodles first. Sent to the old pie hole and down the gullet they went. But it wasn't my pie hole or gullet they went down this time. It was Catherine's. And here's her response. Those noodles are weird. I could see that response coming from a mile away. I tried the noodles as well, and I concurred with her initial assessment. The texture was pretty gross, but that aromatically spiced sauce was amazing. It would have tasted good on a flip-flop. Next, we forked a nice creamy ball. And then into my face orifice it went. And although that delicious sauce would make a turd taste good, the texture of the meatball was like an old paddle ball. And then Catherine tried one for good measure. And she said it was like eating a delicious sponge. And then we did like we always do, and we tried a bite of everything. The soggy noodles and the rubbery balls with the delicious sauce. And I hate to keep repeating myself, but it was delicious. However, texture wise, it was a nightmare. So I'm gonna give Boston Market's frozen Swedish meatball dinner a four out of 10. Our next frozen Swedish meatball meals cost an additional 40 cents and it's the Marie Callender's Savory Swedish Meatball Bowl, which is Swedish meatballs with freshly made pasta tossed with sour cream sauce. Here's the list of ingredients, and some of them actually look pretty good, but there's the inevitable TVP in the meatballs. TVP is the American Express of processed foods. You don't make a meal without it. The serving size is the whole container, which has 440 calories, 19 grams of total fat, seven grams of saturated fat, three grams of polyunsaturated fat, a half a gram of trans fat, six grams of monounsaturated fat, 70 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,010 milligrams of sodium, 47 grams of carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, five grams of sugars, and 20 grams of protein. Here's the Marie Callender's savory Swedish meatball bowl right out of the freezer and right out of the box. 
And now we're going to cook it according to the directions on the box. After microwaving on high for five and a half minutes, stirring at the midway point, our Mary Callender's Swedish meatballs are ready. And the noodles look a lot better than the Boston Market noodles did. They don't look mushy or overcooked at all. So we got a fork full of the noodles. And then into the old pie hole and down the gullet they went. The noodles were perfectly cooked. The sauce was good, but not nearly as good as the Boston Market sauce. Next, we forked a ball. These balls weren't as big as the Boston Market balls, but the texture was much better. But they were lacking on the flavor. Had these balls been dipped in the Boston Market sauce, they'd be out of this world delicious. That's why you always want to dip your balls in the sauce that you enjoy. Although the Marie Callender Swedish meatballs lacked the flavor that the Boston Market Swedish meatballs had, it overall tasted like better quality food. So I'm giving Marie Callender Savory Swedish Meatball Bowls a 6 out of 10. Now for third in line, at $4.39, we have the 11.5 ounce Stouffer's Swedish Meatballs, which are meatballs and freshly made fettuccine with parsley and a sour cream sauce. Here's the list of ingredients with the usual suspects, including, what else, TVP. The serving size of the whole container, which has 490 calories, 21 grams of total fat, 11 grams of saturated fat, no polyunsaturated fat, 1 gram of trans fat, no monounsaturated fat, 50 milligrams of cholesterol, 1,140 milligrams of sodium, 49 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 5 grams of sugars, and 26 grams of protein. Here's our Stouffer's Frozen Swedish Meatballs right out of the freezer and right out of the box. Now it goes into the microwave according to the instructions on the box. After cooking for a total of three and a half minutes on high and then five and a half minutes on 50% power, our Stouffer's Swedish Meatballs are ready. So then we give it a good mix and shank the meatball. And so far, it looks like Stouffer's was much more generous with their meatballs. So you, the people, know the deal. Into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. Now that's a tasty meatball. So far, Stouffer's has the best, meatiest, best textured meatballs out of all three meals so far. Next, we tried the noodles, which looked great. They looked perfectly cooked, not mushy at all, and... They were perfectly cooked, and they weren't mushy at all, and they were delicious. And now for the obligatory bite of everything. The meatball, the pasta, and the sauce. Everything together tasted really good. It had good flavor, but it didn't have that knockout punch flavor that the Boston Market meal had. But it was the much more complete meal as far as I was concerned. So I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. over the fourth and final frozen Swedish meatballs which is Lean Cuisine's 9 ounce Swedish meatballs with pasta and gravy that cost $4.39 here's the list of ingredients and of course it contains TVP as well I know Scooter I know there's nothing wrong with TVP I just don't like it being used as a filler that's just my personal opinion Their serving size is the whole container, which has 300 calories, 5 grams of total fat, 2 grams of saturated fat, 1 gram of polyunsaturated fat, no trans fat, 1.5 grams of monounsaturated fat, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 690 milligrams of sodium, 45 grams of carbohydrates, 2 grams of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 18 grams of protein. 
Here's Lean Cuisine's frozen Swedish meatballs right out of the freezer and right out of the box. And now we're gonna cook them according to the directions on the box. After microwaving for four and a half minutes, our Lean Cuisine Swedish meatballs are ready. And right off the bat, they don't look nearly as rich and creamy as the previous three meals did. But the noodles look good, but they're little tiny balls. Hopefully they're little tiny balls of goodness. So we got a fork full of pasta and shoved it into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. Fortunately, the pasta was cooked absolutely perfect. Unfortunately, it tasted like you were eating the pasta right out of the water it was cooked in. It had absolutely no flavor. Then it was time to have a ball in my mouth. And there might have been a ball in my mouth, but my mouth wasn't having a ball. The flavor from the sauce was absent, and the meatball itself had a good texture, but the flavor was way off. I'm not really sure what it was, but it tasted like cardboard. Even though I didn't think the final obligatory bite of everything was necessary, I did it for you, the people, so you don't have to. Lean Cuisine Frozen Swedish... Well, the Lean Cuisine Frozen Swedish Meatball Meal was last. The Frozen... The Frozen Lean Cuisine Swedish Meatball Meal was the worst. The Lean Cuisine Frozen Meat... The Lean Cuisine Frozen Swedish Meatball Meal was last. The Lean Cuisine Frozen Swedish Meatball Meal was the worst by far. Which is why it gets a 2 out of 10. If I was in the frozen food section of my local grocery store craving Swedish meatballs, I'd get both the Stouffer's and the Boston Market. That way I could rinse off the Stouffer's and then use the gravy from the Boston Market on the Stouffer's Swedish meatballs and noodles. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.